We've all been misled by the internet, convinced that something that wasn't true was. Misinformation has been a problem for centuries. And in most cases, once the misinformation is out there, it's really, really hard to stop it from spreading. Yotamo Fear, professor of communication at the University at Buffalo, says during times of stress and uncertainty, misinformation thrives the most. In these times, people are more open to accept whatever they can find online. So I think it's, not, it's no surprise that we had a huge wave of misinformation around coronavirus, and now we have a few more uh, spikes in, in misinformation around the uh, social protests. A lot of misinformation circulated throughout Western New York over the last 10 days, as rumors spread about violence, looting, and riots that fortunately never happened. The problem with websites like Twitter or Facebook uh, is that they don't exert um, the same gatekeeping as mainstream media does. So basically every person can say whatever they want. But Ophir says that free will contributes to the spread of fake news. So here are some tips to stop the spread. The best advice is to look for the primary resources. If someone says CNN said something, then go to CNN and find the original uh, quote. And if you find out you did spread false information, Ophir says to delete it. But also to try to explain why you were wrong. Social media sites like Facebook and Twitter do flag for fake news, but Ophir says they can't catch everything. So do your part to stop the spread. In Buffalo, Jetty Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.